Creating this case study on blended learning is as new to me as it is to you. But someone has to do something. This is my something. I know it can help. I chose smart technology to help deliver a smart way to learn for what their technology does for learning stakeholders. Using smart notebook software is one step along the way. Putting lessons on Smart Exchange for other teachers to use is the next step. Then there's Lumio. Lumio helps deliver smart digital lesson plans to students. There's a great infrastructure here. It comes down to a matter of how is it being used. My lessons don't have a singular audience, which makes it more difficult to teach. I'm using clip art characters to speak to teachers, students, parents, and administrators. You may also find some redundancy in some of the lessons. This is what happens when ideas develop over the years. You forget what you've already said, so sorry. Let's start with a quick overview of each slide. Page 1 contains the three pillars of A Smart Way to Learn and the eight lessons of the way game. Be sure to click on the small speaker icons and listen for instructions and watch the video introductions for each lesson. Don't panic is a phrase I borrowed from A Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Don't panic is great advice. After all you've been through, panic is a natural reaction. Know this, no one is mandating you to do this Individual choice, self-direction, is up to you. Teachers are expected to provide these options to students. Why not apply the same medicine to teachers? Choice and self-direction. Ironic, isn't it? If we apply these principles to students, but not to teachers, well, that's wrong. What's needed is a plan. A plan for teachers to show what they do. The goal is to make the profession more accountable and transparent, to reduce the number of things on teachers' plates. We suggest that teachers become more facilitators of the learning process in class, empowering students and parents with a better plan for homework and improved ways for reporting student progress. We need to build trust where trust is lacking public awareness and re-establishing trust in our system is paramount. You've got time to teach your students how to play. Simply integrate these lessons on learning how to learn into your health classes. Take your time, there's no rush. Chip away at the steps needed to play the way game. I took the month of September. Learning early in the school year is better than later. These lessons will guide you through the process. Here we have a sample of a smart digital lesson plan. There's lots of features on this model which we'll explore. These template lesson plan pages are designed to be projected in class with your smart board. Teachers continue to build the lesson with students as the lesson is presented. A lesson plan is never finished until the class is over. Student input is essential. What indicators are there of student participation at the end of a lesson? Remember, the best laid plans quote, or how about God laughs at those who make plans? Look to lesson plans as guidelines and not things written in stone. All classwork is preserved here and posted later. Visitors will learn about a variety of features on templates that teachers will adapt to suit their students' needs and grade level. Part of why the way game works is it gives students purpose for every lesson. Students actively think about lessons holistically as they create questions and activities for the way game. Next, we have a page just for text, if you so desire. Text boxes can be resized and moved anywhere. 
This is handy if the recipient of the lesson has notebook installed. If not, lessons can be posted in PDF format. There's nothing wrong with posting a PDF file along with the notebook file. It just gives your audience more choice. What we have on this page are transcripts for the first two podcasts. It's nice to be able to hear and see what is being said. This page contains characters for teacher soundbite recordings. Since there are different stakeholders that need to know a smart way to learn, I speak to their specific needs and interests when it's called for. I use the recording feature that Smart provides for recordings under a minute, which is the limit Smart gives you for these types of recordings. I play some music in the background to spice up the soundbite. For longer podcasts, I use GarageBand. It's more work, but the sound quality is better, and it's good for editing out sounds like your stomach growling. This page contains a sample of a smart activity. They are easy to make and fun for students. There are 10 different activities to choose from. And by the way, activities don't work on basic notebook home versions. Uh, Too bad. There are a number of support tools for the Way game that we'll learn about as you go through the lessons. What you see here are Pathfinder clues These tools make the game more interactive for students and speeds up play. These support pages include score pages, spinners, dice, pathfinder clues, and the seven games of way. The following pages are templates for the seven games of way. Eventually, students will learn a variety of questioning techniques in order to create Q&As from their lessons for the way game. I wonder how many times this kid failed before he was able to do this. It seems simple enough. Stand on a board and ride a wave to shore, then repeat. Teaching is a lot like surfing. You need to be skillful. You need the right training and tools. And you need a can-do attitude. You need to be brave. Because things can change in an instant. And teachers need to be able to adapt. Sort of like the situation we find ourselves in now. We need a big idea. We need a plan. We need teachers to work together to create digital lesson plan banks in school districts everywhere. Think of the time saved. Think how the quality of lessons improve when we trust one another and work together. Planning lessons is one of the most important activities in teaching. But whoever said teachers had to plan alone? The technology and a model exists to end the practice of teacher lesson planning alone. Teamwork is essential. What if teachers used a common software to plan their lessons? What if school districts dedicated professional development days to the creation of a digital lesson plan bank in their district that all teachers can access. What if school districts competed for the creation of the best lesson plans? Think of the benefits to students when every lesson is a great lesson that students can access from anywhere. Blended and virtual learning doesn't have to be a teacher killer. Let's turn adversity into opportunity. The plan is simple. Ask each teacher to create one lesson on a single curriculum objective on a PD day dedicated to the creation of a digital lesson plan bank. And if all teachers in a province or state are involved, an entire curriculum can be covered in a single day and used the next. Teachers now supplement the lessons they create with more and more lessons created by other teachers. Know this, a smart way to learn makes learning fun for students and doesn't just deliver curriculum. This model facilitates student motivation and engagement. 
digital lesson planning is truly a game changer. Learning new things isn't easy. But when we work together, great things can happen when we push the boundaries of possibilities. Becoming masterful in any discipline takes time and practice. For too long, teachers have been working alone. This needs to change here and now. Sign in to Smart Exchange. Click on your icon in the upper right hand corner. From here, you can share a resource you've made or manage the resources you've already posted. There's a submission and approval process form to fill out. This takes some time. I've posted eight files on Smart Exchange to learn the process of submitting resources. You notice my resources are pending. I recently updated my descriptors and I'm waiting on reapproval. These files mostly support the way game. The next steps will feature detailed instructions in bringing the way game and digital lesson planning to life in your class. Each resource submission contains a thumbnail graphic, a lesson description, symbols that define the activity, grade levels, and the subject the resource is related to. You are able to review the resource's content and download the file if it looks like something you can use.